Stage four. <laughs> All right, seen. and of course we're introduced like to two annoying enemies: the free man and the skeleton with bones. Oh well, no, I was talking about those two flea men. And because we have that charm from the previous video, uh, we can kill red skeletons. Hooray! Because normally if you hit them, they just fall over and then get back up. It's kind of like they have... I believe it's gold orbs? It's like they have gold orbs in Devil May Cry 3. And that's comparison. Pretty much. Well, at least I told what the reference is from. Also, the I'll music pretend I, playing, I recognize it from another Castlevania game. Really? What one? You don't know, do you? You said that to sound smart. Well, that fell flat on its face pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Also, there's that flea man that's hanging out up there. Which I don't get, because pressing that button causes stairs to come down, but he was on that button. He's immune to stairs. Or maybe it's just because he's small. Objects. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll go with that Bible. Welcome back, Shogun. Hello. With editing, you'll never know I've been gone. Yeah. Well, yeah. I just made a guess. Also, watch out for those balls. You don't want to get hit in the face with them. And I'm guessing the three men doesn't make it any easier. Nope. But I had the Bible. <laughs> if I had holy water, it'd probably be easier, because I can just throw it at them. Great, I got two guillotines, and I got an axe knight. This is... Yeah, it's like he Christmas. Making it any easier. Yeah, especially since he keeps backing up, and I don't want to get too close, because then he'll knock me into that. Well, that's okay. There's more and wall off, meat. Off will go your head. <laughs> now this is but an this... annoying area. You got these thin platforms, and you got peeping eyes. And spikes. And yeah. Lots and lots of spikes. It could be uh, worse. It could be bottomless pits. This also, watch out! Don't press that button. Don't Damn press it. that button. But I was just going to say, this level seems to be less about enemies and more about just environmental hazards. Yes, pretty much. But there is a level that is the king of that. Ah. Uh, that I can't wait for you to see. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. Fun. Also, can you, you have figure to... out the mystery of these buttons? Do you have to press the manipulator? Fucked if I know. That's why I'm going to skip them. Save it for Maria. I guess so. I'm just gonna go grab this money and just move on. This is an empty room. This room sucks. This room can be easily cheesed if you're Maria, because you can I'm just go to the other side and jump up and get to those stairs. Oh. But we're not, so we have to do it the hard way. Yeah. You don't have the powers of a 12 year old gal. Yeah. But I like using Richter at least. He's fun. I mean, he he's, he's seems slow, to be, but he's fun. He seems to be the more rewarding of the two characters. Yeah, true. A lot of people will laugh at you if you play as Maria and beat the game using her, but I say use whatever character is easiest for you. As long as you're enjoying the game. I've just noticed that Richter seems to strut everywhere. Yeah, that's the Belmont Pimp Walk. That's what it's called. <laughs> He's missing a cane. Yeah, pretty much. His whip should turn into a cane. Everyone's whip should turn into a cane. Pimp whip. Just extend it and have it just straight out. Also, I love how this game series like using Towers of Bone Dragon. It's... Eh. It's... it's commendable. Oh, this looks interesting. It's something. Hey, look! High oh. explosives! Oh yeah, it's time to wreck the castle, bitches! Bringing down the house. Fuck that wall. <laughs> okay, watch out for these spike traps. They're very, very... Um, 
Oh, that was easy. Slow moving. <laughs> I hope when you do this as Maria, you snide underneath the spike trap. I probably will. For now, let's take the high road. Let's skip that axe armor there. Oh, fuck, a peeping eye, really? Oh, well, well would so you rather fight axe armor or peeping eye? I'd rather fight the axe uh, anyway, armor. Anyway, which game is. That was Rondo of Blood. That's the original. Ah. So, how about fighting the uh, alternate boss first? How do you feel about that? It depends. It depends. Do you like women oh, fun bombs? Oh, who's this? Oh, it's this. not a woman. It's a mask. Never mind, it's not a mask either. Camille? Camille. Or... Carmel. Let's go with Carmel. This is Camilla, or yep. Camilla, Carmel. She Carmel. was also in. Carmel. She was also in Castlevania Judgment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how she's the most memorable part. After you. <laughs> also, don't jump into that skull. You'll get cursed, as you can see. Uh, don't don't get near her because she'll hug you. She'll steal your hearts. It's not fun. But, uh, yes, this is Carmilla and Laura. She has a name, too. <laughs> I broke her chair. God wow, damn it! You stop are it! getting fucked over by her. <laughs> Literally! Oh, God damn this fight! <laughs> and I like, too, how they have to signify that you're fighting a chick because her health bar is pink. Color coding and all that. Oh my god. Oh. Oh yeah, this now you get to actually fight Laura. This is phase two of the fight and it's absurdly easy. Also, that happens. Are those all the hearts you lost or just Nope. Nope, those are hearts that she gives you for free. Cause you know how some bosses um will go ahead and they'll like oh, try to hit you to take away your before. score. Because if you get hit, you lose life, and it brings down your score, and you can't get that no damage. Yeah. But, um, what this does is she gives you hearts, and that boosts your score. Oh. Also, we're back in this area. <laughs> uh, note about those switches that were down there. If you touch them, you'll get arrows fired at you. Ah. Uh. And these arrows are huge. They're as tall as Richter, and they stick in you. So Stick you walk around you. like you're a pincushion. Ow. It's actually quite humorous to look at. <laughs> I expect a bonus video. Maybe. Also, I tried to jump over him. I don't know why. Oh. <laughs> I could just hit him. <laughs> but this is the area that I skipped, and I don't like this area. But you got flea men on boulders. Yeah, but you have to jump on them. Because you don't have enough height to get up there. But when I show off the bonus video, uh, when I have to use Maria for this part, there is an area that you can't get to. Uh, but it's, it's interesting to point out, because it has some things that you just don't see in any of the other areas. Well, it has one guy. Wrong guy. Yeah, it's not really that. Just one. It's not really like anything with that area. It's just you know that one guy you want to see. Also, I got crafty and did a backflip up there because for some reason I just suck at going ahead and jumping up there. But if those boulders touch you, it hurts. And then Slow that brings moving us, boulders. Yeah, pretty much brings us back to here. We all know how much fun I have here. Tons of fun. Yeah. This part is boring. I mean, it's fun when I'm playing it, because I'm like, ooh, how am I gonna do this? Ooh. And then I die. And, yeah. <laughs> so let's Good go about that there. in a better way. <laughs> I bet that axe nice felt really good about himself after he did! I threw an axe at him, and he's like, no, mine's better! Eh. <laughs> But that's okay, I'll- Ow. 
I got lit on fire. Why did I get lit on fire, guys? Because um, you suck. Because you're made from combustible material? No, the answer is because bone dragons breathe fire. God. I like my answer better. Shut up. Yeah, I like her answer better. Shut up. <laughs> Good. So now we're back up here, and we have the axe armor who charges at you. And those are always fun. It's simple, just backflip over them. Simple as simple could be. Now what's this thing? Oh, I didn't explain that? Well, those are uh, spiked balls. Those ones, all you have to do is hit them, and they go all limpy. So yeah, pretty much hit it, and then you can go under it. Uh. Hit it a few more times, and it acts all crazy. So, now which way are you going? I'm You're going up here. And this is the pre-boss area for the true boss of stage 4. And it'll be a doozy, let me let me tell you. Is it harder than Kamina Mina Mina Mina? Yes. Only because you can actually hit her. <laughs> this guy is just balls awful. Oh shit. Oh, I recognize this guy. This yes. is Dorin Han, isn't it? Oh shit. And he is hard. You can only hit his head, is that correct? No. Actually, you want to avoid his head at all costs because it one, you can't damage you. his head, and two, it curses you. Like we're seeing now. Yes, pretty much. And interesting note, that candle up there actually drops a sub-weapon. What's the sub-weapon? Uh, I think it's the Bible. <laughs> I think. Just in case you need some boss reading material. <laughs> Pretty much. It's the Castlevania Bible. Made by the excellent people at the Castlevania Wiki. <laughs> But it's very easy to beat that because it does that lazy, lazy algorithm pattern there. Yeah. So was, all you have to do is just go ahead and backflip. And that could be avoided a little bit easier if you just stand underneath one of the platforms. Yeah. But I'm too dumb for that. Well, we've already discussed that you suck. Thanks. Also, this guy seems just to have a to lot of health. You. He does have a lot of health. See, I was afraid that fighting him was going to take longer than fighting, like, anything else. That's why I don't want to do, like, a boss rush type movie or something like that. But yeah, that was stage four. Did we stage really four. get through that without making any head puns? <laughs>